Welcome back to Daytime here on Rogers TV. I'm Jennifer Robinson, and we're talking about healthy mind, healthy body with George Chevallo, of course, you know, Canadian legend and beyond. So we're going to tell you what you can eat to kind of get both of those things going, and we'll tell you how you can do it. We're joined by Jennifer Lapointe. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Now, you're here to tell us about your brand new cafe, Gigi's Green Bean Cafe. Yes, it's open. We just opened recently in Tottenham on the main street. It's uh, all uh, organic fair trade coffee and all the ingredients that we can source that are organic and fair trade we use in our homemade baking. Now local is a very big thing for you and mm. um, obviously organic, free trade, these are all very important concepts and ideas for your Green Bean Cafe. Tell us how important that local component is. Um, I've always been um, a supporter of the local economy. Um, I always try to buy locally even if it's um, just buying milk, I'll buy, try to buy it in town rather mm -hmm. than buy it on somewhere else. Yeah. So uh, it's always been, I think maybe it goes back to my rural roots. My, uh, parent, my ancestors were farmers mm -hmm. and I think it might go back to that. Back to that. So you have a history of being able to, you know, support the local economy, the local farmer, the local, local community and industry as well. Mm -hmm. Now, I think a lot of people are getting really interested in that in that aspect as well. So, I mean, you're only a month open. This mm -hmm. is very, very new for you. And uh, why did you want to add to the Tottenham community? Um, it has a beautiful downtown street, um, a lot of old buildings. Um, we have the train, the Simcoe train that comes through and um, that brings in some tourists and there isn't really a place for them to go and have something nice to eat or drink afterwards. Mm -hmm. So we have lots of great restaurants, but nowhere to just sit in, in a comfy chair. Uh, we've put Wi-Fi in for the uh, people to come. And I think I really wanted to put something in there for the youth. Um, the, the youth didn't really seem to have anywhere to go and uh -huh. sit. And there's lots of pubs, but nowhere for the for the youth to go in the evenings. So. so you really encourage people to sit and stay. Yes. And yeah. I think that's probably something that, you know, because life is very busy and families are very busy, but to be able to sit and have a conversation is not always encouraged, but you yeah. do. Yes, yeah, we have uh, um, newspapers. We have all the newspapers and uh, Canadian magazines. Uh, we get the uh, New York Times so that people can just come in and read the paper and and uh, or go on the Wi-Fi and do surf the net. Now, with the Wi-Fi as well, because obviously that's going to encourage a lot of people to stay a long time, whether it's business or pleasure or social networking or whatever. Right. Um, how is it balancing, you know, some of the rural components of Tottenham or, or like with the dial-up? I know you were talking about dial-up yeah. and Wi-Fi, so tell us about yeah. that. Actually, um, just yesterday we had a gentleman come in and he couldn't go into town to work. Um, and because it's so difficult to get um, high speed out on the the side roads, he came in because we had the Wi-Fi and he could work from home for the day. So, and I think there's quite a few other people. Um, I have one employee that she brings her laptop in because she can't use, she can't uh, send her pictures from home and that sort of so thing. So it's a great space to be able to work quickly, but yes. stay a long time. Yes, <laughs> and drink lots of coffee. And drink lots of coffee, which brings <laughs> me to the next point. Uh, you were, you know, obviously you have great product, great coffee. Um, hot chocolate, teas, and all this sort of stuff. But uh, you yourself are um, not of the coffee persuasion. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't drink coffee. I've always uh, loved my tea. Um, I have a weakness for Diet Coke, which I try to give up all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I love my hot chocolate in the morning. Uh, may have to do with being born in France, but I like my hot chocolate in the morning. And um, But I know that people like a good cup of coffee, so, mm -hmm. and I love the smell. The smell is fantastic, and yeah. I know uh, my mom is not a, a, a coffee drinker herself, but my dad and I are, so she does appreciate the smell. It's just mm -hmm. got that warm aroma to it. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the products that you offer. Okay. Um, some of the products, mostly it's the baking, which is all made in-house. Um, I've hired a number of youths trying to give everybody an opportunity. So the, we have this one girl, Melanie Cockerell, who makes our muffin or our cupcakes. Um, with wonderful buttercream. Look at that. Like, she's phenomenal. Uh, yeah, chocolate uh, cupcakes with peanut butter icing. And what? these ones are vanilla with just vanilla icing. We have another woman, who, uh, another girl who uh, makes the biscotti from scratch. She's been trying, I think this is about her sixth flavor. The most recent one she's tried is the double chocolate chip with peanut butter that, in the and center. And that's this one right here. Yeah. 
And her mother, um, Kristen Sneath, she does the uh, pastry, but her mother does the filling. And uh, <laughs> I actually went to school with her mom. No and way. her mom does the baking. She does the, uh, the banana bread and the muffins. And the muffins and, yeah. and all the baked goods. So it's yeah. kind of interesting talking about what you do offer simply because um, oh, my friend Christine makes this and her mom makes that and you yeah. really are taking that local component um, mm -hmm. to, I, I feel like, a whole new level. I've never heard of so many local people being involved in, in one cafe. Yeah, and it's been great and um, there's, there's not a lot of places for the youth to work in Tottenham so it's been really great to have bring in, like Melanie, she has a passion for baking so she comes in for three hours at a time and makes her, her cupcakes mm -hmm. and then uh, Somebody else comes in. I just hired someone to. Uh, we just added soup to the menu, nice. and so we, I've hired another gr uh, girl to come in after school and cut the vegetables for the soup and that sort of thing. Because you're so new, you're so newly open. You're uh, just barely a month. You're a month yeah. and a bit old now. Yeah. Um, so congratulations on your first month. Thank you. And where do you see this going and growing? Do you see the menu expanding? Do you see more local involvement? Where do you hope? This is a very. Uh, guidance counselor type of question. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in a few years? Um, we're going to gradually add more lunch menus. Um, we're getting um, salad, we'll put, add salads and we will add um, wraps. We've had a lot of um, requests for healthy lunches. Um, I think there's places in town that cover the others and yeah. that's... So uh, you're good yeah. with that. Now, yeah. I mean, you have uh, locally sourced honey, locally yeah. sourced maple syrup. You're also supporting the arts community, which I yes. think is fantastic. Tell yeah. us about that. Um, this is a local uh, photographer, Ron Pitts. Um, he has his art up in there right now and we've uh, we'll be switching them over and he does wonderful wildlife photography um, I think over the last five years I've bought four of them alone and <laughs> so he was my first choice to to put up um, you can see him at uh, he, he has a website Rod ronpitts.com. Fantastic. And you, and, and you have an opportunity to purchase the artwork that you're displaying at, yes. uh, at Gigi's. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. And you're taking the sustainable level also. Yes. Um, you've got a whole and cutlery and uh, as well. Uh, yep. Uh, the, to cut, go. the cutlery and the uh, cups and even the lids of the cups are compostable and uh, go in your green bin. Yeah. We also have the travel mugs and if you bring in a travel mug even if it's not our own we give you 20 cents off your purchase so That's that you're, you're to helping encourage the people. Yes. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Thank really appreciate you, you bringing and telling you. us the latest initiative of what's happening in Tottenham. Great. Thank All you, right, Jennifer. don't go anywhere. I'm going to snack on this. You go fresh <laughs> coffee. We'll see you right here on Daytime.